I think the good news, Maria, is 2020 certainly taught us a lesson, and that is that we have to pay attention. I mean, it, it is integral to who we are as a country to have faith in our electoral process. And so we have gone above and beyond anything that you've ever seen from the RNC this election cycle. Obviously, we have our election integrity opera operation underway. We've already recruited 165,000 volunteers to be poll watchers, poll workers, work in the tabulation centers. We have pledged 500 lawyers on the ground in every battleground state. And in addition to that, we have had to go, unfortunately, but we have had to go state by state and make sure they're doing things like cleaning up their voter rolls, making sure that there are no illegals on their voter rolls. We had to file a lawsuit last week in the state of North Carolina to do that. You just referenced the Supreme Court decision in the state of Arizona. This is a, a huge win. Look, we know that there is a, when a federal election is underway, you can only have American citizens voting in that election. Should go without saying, but there are some states that try to push back on that. We took it to the Supreme Court because Democrats in the state of Arizona were attempting to let people register to vote without ID. We said you need to be able to determine whether or not these are U.S. citizens before they register to vote. The Supreme Court agreed with that. And the great news is that it sets precedent across the country so other states can take this and utilize it as well. You look at a state like Michigan, a very important state, a state Donald Trump, of course, won in 2016. We are fighting tooth and nail to make sure Donald Trump wins in Michigan. And we believe if it's a free, fair and transparent election, he will. I'll give you an example of the way the Democrats like to operate to try and sway an election. We had 700 trained poll workers from the Republican side apply in Wayne County to be poll workers. Do you know how many of those they actually took? 50. Guess how many Democrat poll workers they took? 2,300. So now we are uh, filing a lawsuit in, um, in Detroit to make sure that we have parity between Republicans and Democrats. So whether you're talking about ensuring that illegals are clean off the voter rolls, they can't register to vote in certain states, or generally sending out the message, Maria, that if you're a person who is uh, attempting to cheat in our elections or an illegal citizen attempting to illegally vote in our elections, we will find you, we'll track you down, and we'll prosecute you to the full extent of the law. We're watching everything, we're filing lawsuits when necessary, and we're making sure we have people everywhere, votes are being cast and counted, to have eyes on everything.